Welcome back to Wendy's Way. <laughs> it's a gardening day. Oh my goodness. What a gorgeous day. It's been warm enough out that uh, I have to have this silly do-rag on my head to keep the sweat from rolling in my eyes and it's bright enough that I need the sunglasses. My feature's so bright I had to wear shades. I have all, well, I've had my tomatoes in for a while. I had my beans and peas in for a couple of days. I've had birdhouse gourds in for a couple of days. And today I'm setting up, finally, the gutters and buckets and net pots. And I'm gonna be planting peppers. So join me in the garden, I'll show you what I'm up to. Welcome back to Wendy's Way. As you can hear, the neighbor's mowing in the background, and that's just a good sign. That means the weather is fair. We've had enough rain that the grass is growing, you know, and we have some really nice neighbors. We have a beautiful neighborhood. All right, these are the tomato plants. They're, they're coming in a whole lot better than they looked when I first planted them because we didn't have really good weather after I first brought them out. I have some spares I've decided not to get rid of. I'm gonna plant them down there where you see the wheelbarrow. I've got one of them already in a bucket. These are the beans and peas, and they're looking just as awesome as can be. Growing like mad, I've, I'm doing some that I've never done before, obviously. These are purple potted pole beans. And uh, yeah, they're finding the trellis already. These are lima beans. I've never grown them before. Nobody I know has ever grown lima beans before, but we're going to give them a shot. These are peas, obviously, and you can see that those tendrils are reaching for the trellises. These two, I'm not sure which is which. This row and the next row over there. One of them is butter wax beans. The other one is just a regular green bean. And uh, I'm guessing these are butter wax. I really don't know. But when it comes to beans, the purple potted, the yellow butter wax, and the green ones, if they're ripe at the same time, I'm gonna process them together. I'm gonna have some pretty jars of beans. Now, what you're looking at here, let me back up, see if I can get a better glance at it. You know how hard it is to see the screen when you're outdoors and you got sunglasses on? All right, this is where the peppers will grow. I have seven rain gutters, and we're gonna put five buckets on a rain gutter. I was thinking about doing that laundry basket thing with a plastic bag, or a, a fabric bag. Well, the little cheap laundry baskets that I found at Walmart, they didn't have any more, and they were like two bucks. And the fabric bags, you know, are a dollar, something like that. And so the other day when I was in Walmart, they had these five gallon buckets, red, white, and blue. Naturally, I took red for some reason I'm drawn to red lately um, two dollars and ninety seven cents a piece okay so that's a two dollar laundry basket and a one dollar fabric bag and they didn't have the baskets I would have had to order them online so guess what we have red bag or red buckets now uh, Bubba's over here he's got a handful here this is my drill man over there he's putting holes in the bottom of them so that I can put the net cups in them. And I'm just gonna show you what I've been doing. First, obviously I've told you this before, but you take a vinyl rain gutter, you frame it in two by fours, you put a cap on the end, you glue a cap on both ends so that it will hold water. You set it on a cinder block, put a little bit of water in it so that you can level them out I use shims. I know last time I said slats, that was silly. Anyway, I've been messing my words up lately. Must be getting old. You put shims to make them as level as possible. Then you put your buckets on top. And as you can see, the buckets have a hole. The hole has a net cup that will hang down inside the rain gutter and wick up the water. You can see it's already touching the water and I've barely got a half inch of water in the bottom there. So what I'm doing is right now placing buckets, placing net cups in the buckets. And have I gotten over here yet? I have not gotten over here yet. I have a pile of 
nut cups in my hand. You can just go with me for a minute. Drop. You know, and they will... Mm-hmm. They'll hang right down in there. And, you know, space them as best we can. Just to make them even. These are all going to have pepper plants. They don't need trellises or anything. They just grow up in a nice solid bush and uh, seven kinds of peppers from you know sweet bell peppers to holy habanero and uh, anyhow this is what we do and then you take the potting mix and the first scoop of potting mix then you will push it down snugly into that net cup um, the holes are a little bigger in the bottom of the bucket bucket so I may just fill the net cups and set them back inside so as not to try and push them through the hole but anyway this is where we're at this is our progress. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you. I almost forgot. I have birdhouse gourds. And they're going to go across. This is a full up and down trellis. I pray they go well enough to climb it and go on over the other side. Um, they don't look too bad considering they've just been in this dirt a couple days. This one already put on a couple new leaves. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Isn't it funny how the first two leaves are really oval and the new leaves are not at all. You know, they almost look like a maple leaf. That's bizarre. Maybe they're kind of, well, kind of like the lima beans, you know, the, uh, the seeds spread out and made like leaves on the bottom. This one has some new leaves coming in the middle. Yep. In addition to those first oval leaves that got a little wet, they've got these ones that look like maple leaves coming. Oh, I hope we have a lot of birdhouse gourds because I'm going to make them into birdhouses and I am going to stand them all up, probably tie them to one of these panels, put it as high as I can on T-posts and tie them up there like a Purple Martin house. You know, put a whole bunch of birdhouses in close proximity to one another. Okay, I better get busy again. My bucket man's got them stacking up for me, so I'm glad y'all joined me. And uh, I'll be back later when I get some peppers in the dirt. Well, it took the better part of today, but I did get all seven gutters set up and leveled and all that good stuff anyway. <laughs> you saw me put the net pots in the buckets. I then filled with potting soil the first 20. So these four rows are full potting mix and peppers. I have planted all of the jalapeno, the lemon spice jalapeno, the serrano, the poblano, uh, yeah, that's the four kinds. I don't even remember. I am tuckered out, flat tuckered out. But you know what? This great, big, huge, amazing garden, all the tomatoes and beans and peas and peppers and gourds, and I didn't purchase one seed this year, or I mean one plant this year. 100% of the plants that you see growing here, I started from seeds in the house, and that is rewarding. And I pray that as well as the plants started and grew in the house, and as good as they look and are growing in the buckets, that I will have so much food I'll be able to can and freeze as much as I like and gift some 
and maybe even sell some at the Waverly Farmers Market. Uh, it's possible that tomorrow afternoon I'll get the last 15 buckets filled. I have two kinds of bell peppers and the habanero peppers yet to plant. So, uh, and I still have a few tomatoes left to plant back there, but I need more potting mix. <laughs> so, this is where I'm going to leave it for today. I thank you all so much for joining me here at Wendy's Way. It is such a rewarding life, a fun life, a busy life. <laughs> uh, you know, not only gardening and uh, cooking, preserving, canning, um, crocheting, Bible reading and studying. You know, it's a busy life, Charlie Brown here at Wendy's Way. And we are so flattered that you decide to join us whenever you have a chance. I apologize for the look. I had to get the bandana off my head and around my neck to soak up a little perspiration. And oopsie, and to get it out of my eyes. So I pray that you all have had as glorious a day as I have. May the good Lord who blesses me each and every day of my life bless you as well, today and always. Amen. <laughs>